What is up people? And today we're going to be looking at debugging .NET Core code inside of a Docker container. Let's go. So the first thing I want to show you guys is how to use Docker multi-stage to basically slide in a debugger in your debug layer of your image. So you can expose a port, attach a debugger, um, and you can use the same Docker file for development and production. So you don't need two separate Docker files. I'm gonna show you all the mechanics and we can achieve this using Visual Studio code. So you don't need full-blown Visual Studio Enterprise. So let's check it out. So just before we continue, I want to show you guys um, the link in the description of this video will lead you to the Docker development YouTube series GitHub uh, repo. All the code I'm showing you is part of this GitHub repository and I have a playlist on YouTube and every part is um, there's a URL for every part here as well as the source code. So if you click the source code, um, for example, we go to part one, all the code here will be related to part one. Um, you can go to part two, three and four. Um, you can watch the video as well as follow along with the source code. So firstly, let's take a look at the Docker Compose file. We have a C Sharp service. We give it a container name called C Sharp. I give it an image name as well. And then here I pass the build context. This is important. This C Sharp folder points to my local C Sharp folder over here. And you can see my source code is inside the source folder. We also make a target called debug and I will show you guys about Docker multi-stage but we are interested in uh, creating a debug layer here. Then we create a volume where we say C sharp source mount that into our working directory. That's basically mounting the source code here inside the container so we don't need .NET installed on our host. And then I'm also exposing a port for my application. Now let's take a look at our Docker file for the C-Sharp application. You can find it under the C-Sharp folder, Docker file. And in here we say from, and we call the .NET SDK, and we mark that as debug. This is a multi-stage feature. This means that everything from this from statement all the way down to the next from statement, just before that, that becomes the debug Docker image. So you don't need two Docker files, you only have one debug layer which is the debug layer and then we have the next layer which is the prod layer and you can see that we use the runtime in the pr production image and not the SDK that's how we keep our production image small and we're also going to use a debugger in our debug layer so this prevents us from pushing any debug libraries and stuff into production so let me quickly run through this we we um, have the SDK, we create a work directory, we copy our source code into the work directory, um, but firstly the project file. Then we do .NET restore because we don't want .NET restore to run every time we change source code. So we only copy in the project file first, run .NET restore, then we copy the rest of the source code in and we do .NET publish, and this gives us a release build. And then what we do, here's the magic, we do App get update, we install um, unzip. We're gonna need unzip as a dependency. And then we install the Microsoft Visual Studio debugger with this line over here. And that's gonna install the debugger inside of the container, inside the debug layer image. And then we do .NET run. Now, if we go back to our Docker Compose file, by specifying a target as debug here, that means we wanna work locally. We only wanna build up to the debug layer. Obviously, if you wanna test the production image, you would change this over to prod. The next part you're going to need is you're gonna to have, to have to head over to extensions. And what you wanna do is install the .NET extension or the C Sharp extension. So you want to go ahead and search for C Sharp and you will find the Microsoft one um, that I already have installed here. Go ahead and install that and then restart your Visual Studio code just in case. And then what you want to do is go over to debug and you will see nothing in this drop down if you have no debugger installed yet. So what you wanted to do is click this gear icon. That'll generate a new launch.json file. The launch.json file is found right there. It'll create a .vs code folder with a launch.json. You can find this file in my Git repository so you don't have to go and find the stuff 
um, to, to paste in here because Visual Studio Code will just generate a, a blank one for you. You need to fill it out. So in my previous um, example, my previous video, we did Golang in a container. So this is to debug a Go application. You're going to need this part here. And this is to um, this is the um, Docker attach debugger for .NET. So we're going to say core CLR as a type and it's an attach request. So the application will run and when we click debug, we'll attach to it. You can see here we're using Docker under the hood, Docker exec, to basically get an SSH into the container. And the most important parts are these two sections here. This one is to where to find the debugger. And this one is where to find your source code. And then we want to map our source code into the container. So we basically here we say slash work. This is where we find the code inside of the container. And this is where we find the code outside of the container. So this is how the debugger knows um, the where to put the breakpoints outside of the container and where to find the actual running code in the container. So you don't need .NET installed on your host to get this done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Docker compose up C sharp and that'll start up our container and the entry point for that one i think is just .NET run so we can see here we're running it it's running and it's listening on port 5000 so it's basically up and running ready for us to attach a debugger so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to our debugger here and we're going to hit the play button and then what we want to do is select the right process because remember .NET has a couple of child processes and this will be the one. This is our DLL that we're building. So I'm going to select it and the debugger is loading up and we're in business. All right, so I have my application up. You can see there's a privacy link that we can click. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find that source code. So if we look on the left-hand side here, we should see privacy.cshtml.cs. And let's just put a breakpoint over there. And let's click that button. And boom, here we go. There's our, our breakpoint has hit. And we can go onto the debugger and we can start seeing all the variables and stuff so breakpoints work and that's how you debug a container so i hope you guys found that um, useful i get a lot of questions from people um, when it comes to containers how to debug code inside of a container and attach it and there's literally no magic you just need an extension and the extension as i showed you has a mapping to say where the source code is locally and where to find it in the container and some debuggers listen on a port other debuggers use SSH, um, other ones will just use the Docker, um, um, Docker exec, which is like SSH to the container. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what other videos you'd like me um, to do. And yeah, like and subscribe and peace. <laughs>